Why do you need common denominators to add fractions? Let's draw a picture to find out. Remember, the denominator tells us how many pieces there are, and the numerator tells us how many pieces we have. For our first fraction, we have two out of the three pieces. I did a horrible job splitting this rectangle into five pieces, but you get the idea. Our numerator tells us that we have three out of these five pieces. Now, it would be so nice to just add up and say we have one, two, three, four, five pieces shaded. There's our answer. But the problem here is that our pieces are not the same size. But what we can do is chop them up more. Let's take this rectangle that was broken into thirds and now also break it into fifths going horizontally. Let's take our second rectangle and also break it into thirds, this time going vertically. So what we've done is we've taken each of these rectangles and broken them into equal size pieces. How many pieces does each rectangle have in total? 5 times 3 is 15. Our two shaded regions were each broken into 5. We now have 2 times 5, or 10, shaded pieces. Over here we broke each piece into thirds, so there's 5 times 3, or 15 pieces in total, and 3 times 3, or 9, shaded pieces. Now all of our shaded pieces are the same size, so we add them up and we have 19 shaded pieces out of 15 pieces in one rectangle. So if we put all of our pieces together, we would have one whole rectangle with four leftover pieces.